Hi. Now for the last parts of this question, we're told that the boy's sister also saves money each week over a period of m weeks. And she saves 10p in week 1, 20p in week 2, 30p in week 3 and so on, so that her weekly savings form an arithmetic sequence. And she saves a total of £63 in the m weeks. And we've got two parts here. We've got, first of all, we've got to show that m times m plus 1 equals 35 times 36. And then we've got to write down the value of m. So, how do we go about this question? Well, for part C, we know that she saves 10p in the first week. And then, if we add to this what she saves in the, tw in the second week, which is 20p, and then in the third week, 30p, and so on. Now, she keeps saving amounts of money that go up by 10p each week over the period then of m weeks. So if we just write that as m weeks, we know that the sum of all these values comes to £63. But we're working in pence here, so we've got to change this then to 6,300 pence. So we've got a sum here that's 6,300, the sum of an arithmetic series. Now remember, if you've got an arithmetic sequence, a, a plus d, a plus 2d, and so on, where all the terms go up by a common difference of d, if you were to add these terms together, the sum of the first n terms is equal to n over 2, all multiplied by twice the first term, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So what we've got here, then, is the sum of the first m terms, sm if you like, so we've got therefore sm equals 6300. So all we need to do is replace the n here with an m. So therefore what we have is m over 2 multiplied by twice the first term, 2 times 10, okay, plus m minus 1 times the common difference, which is 10, because it's going up in steps of 10. And that equals 6,300. So we've got m over 2. And in the square bracket here, we've got 20. And then we've got 10m minus 10, if I expand that bracket. 10m minus 10 and that equals 6,300. And if I tidy up what's inside the square bracket, we've got 10m, and then 20 minus 10, well, that's going to be plus 10, and that's equal to 6,300. So if we just come down here and carry on, we could pull out 10 here as a common factor. So therefore, I'm going to have 10m over 2. And then that's going to leave me with m plus 1 inside the bracket. And that equals 6,300. And clearly, I can divide the 10 with the 2. We can just cancel that out. That goes 5 times. So we end up with 5m multiplied by m plus 1 equals 6,300. And if we divide both sides by 5, you end up with m times m plus 1 equals 6,300 divided by 5, which is 1,260. And it just so happens that 1,260 is the same as 35 multiplied by 36. And that's what we had to show. Now in part D, we've got to now write down the value of m. It says hence, so obviously this has got something to do with showing what the value of m is. Well, it's obviously going to be 35, because you can see that if m is 35, 35 plus 1 gives us that 36. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea if there were any problems across these two parts of the question. OK.